Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a rocket launching animation with some smoke in Maya 2018. So let's get started. Alright so here we are in Maya, I'm using Maya 2018 and this is the animation that we're going to be creating. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go to file new scene and we don't want to save that. So I've got my little rocket ship as an OBJ file that I will be uploading and you can uh, find a link down in the description if you want to use it or you can use your own rocket. So I'm going to go to file and uh, then I'm going to go to import. I'm going to find my OBJ file, import that and uh, cool, we've got our rocket in our scene. So first of all, I'm going to set up the animation. So I'm going to go to the animation tab and I'm going to select the rocket. And uh, basically we just want to animate the translation in Y. So make sure you're on your first frame, right click on translation, set a key. So we're setting a keyframe and uh, then I want to set my frame range to only around 50 like that. So you're just setting it here at the bottom. And then I'm going to go to frame 50 and I'm simply going to move the rocket, just drag it up. And then I'm going to right click on translate again, set a key. So we've got a keyframe on frame 50 as well. And now if we play this back, you'll see we've got that animation okay next i want to create a floor as well so under poly modeling i'm going to select a box or a cube and i'm just going to scale it up by pressing r on the keyboard and i'm just dragging it out like so and also this way and then i'm just going to move it down so w move it down so it's kind of below the grid something like that okay next we want to set up our smoke simulation so go to the fx tab and then under fluids we're going to click on 3d container that's going to create your 3d container for the smoke and let's hide the floor so i'm going to select the floor and then on the keyboard press h for hide and then that's going to hide the floor and then you're going to see it's going to create an emitter as well this little dot here in the center of this uh, container and we don't want to use that we're going to create our own emitter so just delete that okay next we want to create our emitter so under poly modeling i'm going to click a simple sphere like that and then i'm going to scale it down and this is going to be our smoke emitter and if i zoom in here i want to make sure this is small enough so it can actually fit into this rocket all right like that okay and you can scale it up slightly like so right so that's going to be our emitter and uh, for now, I'm just going to move it out so we can see it. I'm just going to place it right there. All right, next we want to set up some parameters for our smoke 3D container. So I'm going to select the container. And then under the fluid shape one panel, I'm going to go to auto resize. Okay, expand that and then just click auto resize. And that will basically just resize this um, box according to the amount of smoke that the emitter is releasing. So as you can see there, we have a smaller box and it's not doing anything because we don't really have an emitter yet. So I'm going to stop that. And then with this 3D container selected, I'm going to shift click on the sphere. And then we're going to go to fluids and I'm going to go to add edit contents and then emit from object. And this will basically tell our simulation to use the sphere as our emitter. So now if we play this back, you will see that our sphere is actually emitting some smoke. So I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to select my fluid container once more. And there's some other things that we need to change here. So I'm going to scroll up to container properties. And I'm going to increase the base resolution to around 50 or so. That's just going to give us a higher resolution smoke simulation. All right, so if we play this back, you'll see that the smoke is looking a little bit better. And next you want to select your emitter. So under your sphere, if you expand it in the outliner, you'll see fluid emitter 1. And there's some stuff that I want to change here. So under basic emitter attributes, currently the emitter type is set to surface. This means that the smoke will be emitted from the surface of this object. And we want to set that to Omni. And that's just going to create a bit more smoke for you. So if we play this back, you'll see that the smoke is a little bit more dense. Uh, it's just looking a bit better. And I'm going to stop that, go back. And um, then there's a couple of more things that we want to change here. And uh, then also under basic emitter attributes, you can see the rate percentage is set to 100. I'm going to increase that to 500. Let's play back and see. And that will basically just create more smoke for your simulation. That's looking good. We can even increase this to maybe 1000. Let's see how that looks. Okay, play back. You can see that's nice and dense. And uh, next we want to go to our emission speed attributes. I'm going to expand that. And I'm going to set this to replace. And this is where we're going to tell the smoke to actually force downwards. Okay. 
So I'm going to set my directional speed to one and uh, that's just the speed of the, the smoke basically. And then you've got your direction X, Y and Z and we want to tell the smoke to shoot downwards. So that's going to be negative Y. So I'm just going to set this to minus 10 and let's have a look, see what happens. Yeah, that's looking all right. You can see it's forcing downwards and uh, obviously we have gravity as well. So the smoke is going to rise. And uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to disable gravity. I'm going to set it to zero. So I'm going to go back to my fluid one, the container. And then we're going to go to dynamic simulation. Just expand that. And you can currently, and you can see the gravity is set to 9.8. I'm going to set that to zero. So we don't have any gravity and let's play that back. So you can see the smoke is now being forced downwards and that's looking all right. Okay, I'm going to stop that, go back to the first frame. And then we want to change some of the properties of our smoke. So still under the fluid one container, we're going to go to contents details. Just expand that. And then you'll see density, velocity, turbulence, temperature, all of these things. And let's expand density. Let's see if there's anything here that we can change. Buoyancy, you can increase that. And I'm not going to go through the meaning of all these parameters. I've got a different tutorial on creating smoke simulations. But we can just change some of these things to just make it look more um, realistic. So let's increase the noise as well. And let's go to velocity. Let's see if there's anything here. We can add some swirl. So I'm just going to add a bit of swirl, a bit of noise. Uh, turbulence, we can add a bit of turbulence. So strength, frequency, speed. Just maybe add a little bit of those things. Let's play that back. Okay, you can see there's a bit of noise a bit of turbulence in the smoke now okay now we can uh, minimize the contents details and uh, i'm going to go to textures just click those three boxes it's going to make it look better and then to lighting as well i'm going to enable self shadow all right next i want to go back to the emitter so under your sphere one just click on the fluid emitter and uh, let's just go through some of these settings here i think there's one more thing that i want to change um, yes, under fluid attributes, you'll see there's a density voxels per second and currently this is set to 1 and I'm going to increase this to 10 and that's also just the density of your smoke. So we want it nice and dense and as you can see that's looking much better. So let's stop that, go back to the first frame and now we want to attach our sphere to our rocket. So I'm going to select the sphere, just move it up into place somewhere like that, okay. And uh, then with our sphere selected here in the outliner, I'm basically going to drag it and put it underneath our rocket. So now you've got your rocket as the parent, then you've got the sphere and then underneath the sphere, you've got your emitter. So now if we zoom out here and I play back, you'll see that the smoke is actually following our rocket. Okay, next we want to set up some collisions. So I'm going to unhide my floor. So with the floor selected, just press H on the keyboard. And uh, let's maybe just rename this P cube to floor. Okay, we've got that. And uh, then I'm going to select my fluid container box and I'm going to select the rocket ship. So I'm going to hold in shift, click on the rocket, and then you're going to click on fluids here at the top and then make collide. And that will basically allow the smoke to collide with the rocket. And we're going to do the same with the floor. So I'm going to select my container and also the floor, go to fluids and then click on make collide. All right, let's play that back. All right, and as you can see, it's not looking too bad. You can obviously go through your smoke simulation settings and just play with the parameters. And you can obviously add some external forces as well to make it more interesting. But yeah, this is just the basics to get you started. And that's how easy it is to set up a rocket launching animation with some smoke in Maya 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Click on that thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on the subscribe button if you want to be notified of new tutorials. I upload new motion graphics and visual effects tutorials on a weekly basis. So yeah, click on the subscribe button and you'll be notified. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next time. Cheers, bye.